because it's that human ego that 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 is talking from the inside i imagine this happens a lot in conversations you have that monologue that's at least a lot many people have that monologue going on in their head and it's very hard to shut that down mm. do you have any experience on how we can numb that down because at that point only we are listening thoroughly the only thing that i think we can really do is respark our curiosity okay our, our our own internal monologue comes from our own insecurities our own identity our our ego our vanity all those things and these aren't bad things these are things that were born with that keep us safe when we're younger but at a certain point if you really want to make a connection you got to let go and the and the and it's and it's very hard to stop being someone or stop being a certain way it's a lot easier to add something to yourself to mitigate it you know um great work on on uh, emotional intelligence eq talks about not taking something away but what do you add to balance that dichotomy of things and and the greatest thing i think we can add each one of us that we're born with it's the greatest survival tool we have is curiosity and when you can add a spark of curiosity when you're conversing with someone that sense of self will start going away because when you say something i get fixated and fascinated by look at that word choice he used L- look at the background he has i wonder what inspired him to choose that particular background he's in toronto right now i wonder what kind of experiences and what was the life path and spark that inspired him to live in toronto and do this for a living so those are the kind of sparks that you get of curiosity and when you when you're thinking about that what else is in your head nothing it's completely focused about who's raj where's it come from you know i mean what's that life journey like because everyone is this beautiful reality show and if you can have the curiosity to dive deeper on that that's when you're truly present for others and you hear everything they say and when you hear everything they say you can start filling out the nooks and crannies um to try to get a, even a fuller picture and when you're doing this what is it it's empathy it's context and people not people aren't looking to be agreed with as much as they're looking to be seen and heard and by demonstrating these things you are demonstrating that you see them you hear them and you value the things that are they're saying that's all we're looking for genetically biologically and socially from other human beings do that and yeah. you will have great healthy relationships it's it's funny that you mentioned eckert tolley because he has this whole message he's been talking through his whole life given out this whole simple message right there is yep. only the present because past is just a memory it's not there yep. future it's just a thought it might come it it's it's a uh, you are thinking about it it's, it's also not there all we truly have right now is this moment and it's not even a second it's not even a millisecond it's not even a nanosecond we can't even design it it's just we can't even sorry we can't even explain it it's the this moment that's here right now that is what it is real rest everything is just a movie that's been played out in your head certainly it <laughs> it helps you to run through the world but all you have is right now right that's such a powerful message to the world and 